Nation, I'm Regina, and we're here at the Monterey Regional with Team 6348 Prepatec Otis, coming straight from Colima. Today, we'll be talking about the Roman that has a very, very swift mm -hmm. elevator as well as a dual intake and other amazing features. Today, I am here with Joel, Caso, Aurora, and the Queen, and we will be talking specifically more about this robot. Find out more in Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Anymark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Anymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Kettering University's cutting-edge programs and their experiential co-op model seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds, offering hands-on, feature-focused learning that empowers students to pursue new ideas and inspires other institutions to follow their lead. Don't just be ahead of the curve, create the curve. Get more information at kettering.edu first. Okay, so now McQueen will be talking about the drivetrain and the elevator. All right, so we have a Swerve drivetrain, an MK41 SDS L1G radio drivetrain, and it's powered by eight Kraken motors. So then we have our elevator. It's a three-stage elevator in a cascade uh, in a cascade form. So it has two Neo motors that powers it in a 64 to one gear radio. It's powered. The first level goes with uh with the chain and the chain creates a perpetual motion between the the first level and the second level when the first level moves one centimeter the third level will move three centimeters this allows us to get more uh more precision and more speed in the period that that we elevate our elevator so now we're gonna take a look at it we got our driver has two modes to move the elevator uh, we know that the basics in this competition is the precision so maybe the presets aren't working as we need so the driver of the elements can make a slight adjustment so we secure our coral placement so now I'm going to show you the presets that we have. Okay. This one is the preset for L4. It elevates and the driver can move the coral intake so it secures the point. We also have the feeder preset. This allows us to make quicker cycles and get more points in the match. Next, we have the with the, the coral intake. It helps us a lot. In fact, it, it is our primary uh, function in our in a robot. We only um, score to L4, but uh, uh, preference. But we can score in all L3 or L2. The coral here is uh, social functional. It can go uh, in a lower de uh, angle degree, and it has the two two elastic wheels to help uh, to lock the, the coral. Then, it, it spits, it, it, it spits the coral, and we can score easily in L4 and or L2, L2, uh, L3, whatever it is. Next, we have the LGA intake. This is for the ball. The LGA intake, it's made of two, uh, uh, Two arms, each one with its own uh, neo motors, to help up, to help us to score with the alga. It's very practical. Each one of the the arms has its own motor on its own. So if it gets stuck or whatever, it can um, replace a, its former position. Okay, so next up is our climber, which is behind here. Um, it's basically like a basic climber. It goes here in the cage, and when it goes down with the, with the motor right here, which is 
500 to 1. It goes over here with uh, a lock that we have. And right down here, it locks up. Uh, so when we turn off the robot, it doesn't affect like, you know, we have to leave it like three seconds up there. So it locks up and it doesn't go up even with the 61 kilo kilogram. So next the code. Well, from the coding point of view of everything, from other years we used to have a new, uh, new serve live train. The difference from this year is that we decided to put everything from Kraken X60. So the coding and everything like that, it was so much easier having the CTR electronics ecosystem for just the, the drive train. But everything else is powered by some NEOS motors and its own spark max. If you see, there's two different canvas. You have the, the drive stream one and everything else from the add-ons and the lever and everything like that. So, um, from other years, we decided to uh, make everything ju just toggle. So you just have to push one bottle to make everything work. So it was such a headache to work with it. So we, we decided to change from rotation to decide to length in height. We use mirrors because we are in Mexico, but uh, we have a file on constants that you can modify to put uh, how, uh, how much the height is from every single point. If it's L1, L2, L3, L4, everything like else. You can set the, the height on this and the angle of this. You can start changing it if you want it, if you want to modify it. You have the ability to change every single of these ones from the algae independently. Um, it, everything works a little bit uh, more seamless from other from other years. So a lot of the difference this year is that we put a lot of weeks on work on that, and the hardest thing for everything to work is mostly the elevator because we use the PID control and stuff. Well, yeah, a, just a PID control and the relative encourage that the Spamax and Neo Motor has already to just deal and work with it. The only disadvantage that it has is that every single match, the robot has to be in the same position, no matter what. For autos and for autos, we use Path Planner. Uh, for everything like that, it's just things that we made as a team. All right, so a few just adjustments that we made in a robot was first in the coral intake, we have these, we have two limitants, one in the top and one in the back. So our coral stays always in the same position and it doesn't fall off. Uh, we, we, have, we don't have the problem that most of the things in this competition have, that is that their intake uh, falls, the coral falls down of the intake. So let me show you. So we don't have to assure that the driver only clicks the, the button and the coral doesn't go back, back there. So we have a physics limitant and also in the height, it doesn't go up and down. It stays almost in the same position. And also we have a physical limitant in the bottom part of the elevator as we face some issues in the practices where we, where the coral will stop right there and it will stop in the electronics. So there we have a physical limiter that doesn't allow the coral to stay right there and we can keep functioning in the whole match. So they say that consistency is key and this robot is a living proof of it. We wish you the best of luck on the upcoming qualification matches as well as the playoffs. And of course, thank you so much for tuning in. This was Behind the Bumpers. Kettering University's cutting-edge programs and their experiential co-op model seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds, offering hands-on, future-focused learning that empowers students to pursue new ideas and inspires other institutions to follow their lead. Don't just be ahead of the curve, create the curve. Get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions.